Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management Channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top stocks to buy this October. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I always think it's smart to go into the new month with some sort of strategy, game plan, and some stocks to keep on watch. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If, if you guys have any questions, concerns, make sure you guys ask them down in the comments. And if if you want to learn more about investing, money management, trading, we do have a course that offers a whole bunch of fantastic tools, quizzes, and on top of that, you'll have access to the group chat that is, you know, all like-minded individuals with over 400 members. So make sure you guys sign up so you guys can, you know, learn more about investing and trading. So guys, moving on to stock number one. Stock number one is one that I definitely think carries some potential here. It's ticker symbol RUM, also known as Rumble. Now, Rumble here, you'll notice that the stock has gone from $10 all the way up to 17. Lately, we've seen a lot of sell-off from it where it's gone from 17 back down to 12. I definitely think there's gonna be some support stepping in right here at about eleven dollars so you'll notice we get buying pressure you know every single time it hits that price point I definitely think in the next uh, month we'll see some kind of momentum change where the stock goes from 12 to 11 right in here and then you can hop in at a very very affordable price get in on this support and hopefully sell it at the resistance of 13 moving on to stock number two stock number two is one that i am a huge believer in it's the one and only tesla very very similar situation that we kind of got going on with tesla if we zoom out you'll kind of see more of what i've been talking about this stock has been very 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 volatile over the past year you'll notice where it goes up and down at some pretty rapid rates. But on the flip side, it does have some pretty hard support rate here at about 260. You'll notice that the stock has just got a natural tendency to get buying pressure, you know, once, twice, three times, four times, five times, now six times. So I definitely think right now at this 265 mark, this represents a good opportunity to start picking up some shares at some more affordable pricing. Anything under 265 for me is an absolute no-brainer investments an absolute buy this one here very volatile so if you invest in this expect a little more volatility in your account a little more fluctuation in your portfolio so moving on to stock what is this stock number three is one that another one that i've been buying but i just see so much opportunity in this market johnson and johnson the reason why i'm going in on johnson and johnson well i've been buying it for a minute but the reason why i like it is because it does well in bull markets bear markets pretty much any market. It's almost a recession proof stock. On top of that, you'll get a dividend of $1.13 per share, which will start to compound on itself where you you know, can start building up a passive income stream. On top of that, right now, the S&P 500 is down about 25%. Johnson & Johnson is actually up about 6% on the year. So, you know, you have to be diversified with your investments. Going in on Johnson & Johnson, you know, definitely carries a little bit of some risk, but overall, a lot of stability, keeping your, you know, portfolio in check and in balance. One that I'm definitely buying here. Now, the next one here is a very, probably the most risky one that we're, we're going to be talking about, and that's Carnival Cruise. Carnival Cruise has seen crazy amounts of sell-off but if we actually go ahead and zoom out there there is some reason why i'm trying to keep this one on watch you'll notice we just have natural tendency to get this stock here at some sort of support right there's there's been established support here in the past where, we, where we've gotten some buying pressure so if we go ahead and we mark that out right it, it hit it once twice now all the way in here three times four times given that we've seen some breakdown of that for me, I definitely think Carnival Cruise is very, very risky, but this is one that I'm going to be keeping on watch for a possible swing trade opportunity, you know, seeing if we can get in, um, you know, near and around $7 and probably sell it hopefully above 8 eight seventeen would be the plan for this one here. A lot of potential, but overall still a ton of risk, you know, do your own research for this one for sure before going in on it. Um, this would be a good one to start paper trading with your uh with your investments and your trading here moving on to stock what is this stock number five the last and final one here we have exxon mobile ticker symbol xom now the reason why i like exxon is because we've seen a positive um whole bunch of things kind of good about this right oil is increased in price which makes these oil companies more profitable 
on top of that, we have that beautiful upper trend where ExxonMobil is actually up about 20% on the year. A little volatility that we've seen over the past couple of months. Last earnings, they missed their revenue, but on the flip side, you'll get a dividend of 88 cents per quarter. Has some resistance up here above 100, support down here at about 83. We'll probably get a little more sell off because it's most likely going to kind of curl down just like it did kind of in here and in here where the stock pops up and then curls down to some support right here. Support for Exxon is right here at about pretty much near and around 80 and $82. Right now it's 87, so I, I think we'll get a breakdown. But on the flip side, there is still a potential that it squeezes up to that $100 mark. So pretty much you hop in on this thing, you risk $5 to possibly make 15, which is a three to one risk and reward, which is actually pretty decent here. But overall guys, these are the top stocks right now that I am looking at to to buy and invest for this for this month so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe if you have any questions let me know down in the comments remember to stay happy guys stay positive and stay safe we'll see you guys later uh take care